Yo, what's up, Internet? <clears throat> that sounded weird. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Internet? Current 1776 here in the woods with another quick video for you. So, Mission 92. Yeah, 92. Whew. I'm looking forward to getting to Mission 100 because it get where I can remember them better. Because, wow, it's been a lot of missions. So, Mission 92 of Battle Box, we sent a hammock in the box. Right here. Climb it. Single hammock. Can't even take the tag off of this one right here. I'm gonna show you. It's brand new. Hadn't even taken it out. I'm gonna show you guys how to quickly set this thing up, get it adjusted. Maybe a few little tips and tricks along the way. Clearly, I've got plenty of hammock videos thus far on the channel, but we're gonna do this one right here specifically because this one went out to our beloved subscribers. So in case any of you guys are wondering, how do I do this or how can I do it more efficiently or am I doing it right or am I even laying in it right, whatever, we're gonna discuss that today. <laughs> So uh, I'm out here at one of my favorite hammock hanging spots here on the property. Got a couple of trees here that are roughly, I think they're like, I don't know, 15, 16 foot apart. This hammock here is 110 inches, it's just shy of 10 foot long. Um, first step, this is important, very important. First step in hanging a hammock is to look up. <laughs> you wanna be absolutely sure that where you're hanging your hammock, where you're gonna be laying out, chilling, camping at night, I don't care what it is, even if you're just gonna sit down for 15, 20 minutes and take a load off, always look up. You wanna be sure there's nothing up there that could potentially come down and ruin your day or kill you. Because <laughs> it can happen, okay? So always look up for Widowmakers. That's what we call them, Widowmakers. Now there's a rub on that tree over there. And you can scout out hunting spots too while you're out in the woods putting up hammocks but first step look up be sure there ain't nothing up there that could potentially come down and kill you next thing obviously you want to be sure your trees are far enough apart let's just say the hammock's 10 foot long you want to be a good bit more than 10 foot apart with your trees okay it's going to give you some room for adjustment and uh, it'll make the experience way more better all right so let's hang the hammock you got two tree straps here the next step in doing this is to get these up on the tree. So I'm gonna set the hammock down. We're gonna do that first. Come along. So obviously you wanna find a tree that is gonna support you, all right? I've hung hammocks from this tree. I can't even count how many times. So I know this right here is gonna, gonna hold my weight. But obviously you don't want a tree that's flimsy that once you put some weight on it, it's gonna bend and all that, right? So find you a decent tree. All right, so you take your strap. You got this end right here. It's got a bunch of loops, daisy chained loops. Every one of these stitching areas in between, there's a loop, okay? Here we do not have any loops. So this is the part that's gonna go on your tree. It does have a loop on the end. So I like to go a little bit higher than my head. I like in a perfect scenario to get about a 30 degree hang on my hammock. I'll discuss that a little bit more in a minute. So I'm gonna go a little bit more than my head right here. I'm gonna put the strap around the tree and then i'm going to run the strap back through that upper loop pull it through and hang my strap all right so i went up a little hot let me bring it down lower so i can show you another little tip real quick and i'll put it back up so when you go around your tree okay and you go through your loop get you in closer come on camera work with me here not against me all right so <sighs> It's right here what, what makes people go crazy, see? It's right here, it's right here what makes people want to go out in the woods and disappear. Nice. Okay, so we're around the tree, we're through our loop, right? You can go this side and pull. Well, what that's doing is it's putting a lot of stress on this because it's pulling against that loop right there. You don't want to do that, okay? You want to orientate, if that's a word, this to where the strap that you're hanging from is coming straight out and there's no stress on this. It's just keeping it there, right? Versus it pulling against that loop tight, okay? Like that, you don't want it like that, okay? It's putting a lot of stress on your webbing. You want it to where the strap comes straight through the loop and out, 
it doesn't put as much stress on here. See, I can still move this. I'm pulling on this strap as hard as I can. I can still move this. But it's not going anywhere. So you got nice, straight path down, okay? That's going to prolong the life of your straps. That's with any tree straps. If you go buy different tree straps, if you make your own tree straps, whatever that case may be, it's going to prolong the life of your strap. So do it to where the strap comes straight out. And go to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. All right, I'm at the other tree. Do it a little higher than my head. Down the tree. Through, through the hole. Straight out. Do it like that. So now it's just as simple as taking your uh, your hammock. I'm going to take this tag off. We don't need that anymore. Now, the pouch that the hammock is in is part of the hammock. It stays on the hammock, so you don't have to, a pouch you have to keep up with. So here's your two ends, right? This is what they consider a gathered end, okay? They run that strap through, they loop it through, and they put this uh, carabiner on there. You can look back in my other videos of hammocks. I show how you can convert this to a whoopee sling system, which is my preferred method. I'll put a link down below to those vids and you can see how you can take this hammock and you can convert this, ditch this if you want and use a whoopee sling system or a continuous loop system through your uh, gathered in if you want. It's completely up to you. This works fine every time. You can keep rolling with this as well. But anyway, we're gonna hook our carabiners to one of the daisy chains on each end and then we can start adjusting, okay? So take one side, just find you you know, a, a loop to go in. It doesn't matter which one right now because we're gonna have to do some adjusting. Then you stretch it out and go to the other side, do the same thing. We're just gonna find us a daisy chain, okay? And we'll hook it in there. So now I'm hooked up and as you can see, my hammock is like super low. I like my heights to be when I sit down in the hammock, it's like I'm sitting in a chair, my thighs are parallel with the ground. So we need to shorten these straps. So we can loop around the tree to shorten the strap. So I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna hook it on my belt loop so my hammock's not touching the ground. And I'm just gonna shorten this up by wrapping around the tree a couple times. Just like that. And really you only have to do this on one end. You can do it on both but we're just trying to get our, our hang right. Now, if you want to be like perfectly centered between the trees and all that, I mean, I don't, there's not a whole lot of need to do that, but if you want to do that, then adjust both sides. So now I've got adjustment all the way up to here. My first loop's all the way up to here now. So I can really bring this hammock like stupid high if I want it to. So now my hammock is about mid thigh. So I want to sit in it and see where I'm at in relationship to the ground when the weight gets on it. I'm going to already tell you that's too low. I'm way down here. My thighs aren't parallel. I need to keep going up. So in this case, I'm going to shorten this other side over here. So again, I'm going to hook it to my side. Wrap around the tree a few times. That'll do. Hook it right there. Now, I'm almost at my hips. That's about right. I like my foot end to be a little bit higher than my head end. I'm gonna let that be my head end. You can do whichever way you want. And the reason why I wanna do that is I like for my pouch to be on my right side. If I wanna drop a drink or you know my phone or whatever in here. It's on my right side. I like my feet a little bit higher. I'm gonna go up one more length in my daisy chain. Yeah. So my legs are parallel with the ground. And the reason I like to do that is sometimes I just like to sit in the hammock, right? Sometimes you just wanna, you got your fire going, you wanna just kind of sit back and relax, keep your feet on the ground. You can do that like this very easily. It's easier to get in and out of it, et cetera, et cetera. So 
legs parallel with the ground. I don't know, I'm 12 inches or so off the ground. Some people like to go like super high with their hammocks. And that's fine, whatever is personal preference. Me, I like to be able to get my feet on the ground quickly if I have to. Uh, and if something happens and I go down, I don't want to fall very far. <laughs> but just be good to go in this. This hammock is rated to 400 pounds. Very strong, very well put together. Climate, you know, makes great you know, products, obviously. So that's how I set up my hammock. I like my feet a little bit higher again. And reason why is as you sleep or as you rest or whatever, if your head is too high, you end up kind of scooting down, you slide down. If you got a pad underneath you or whatever, you find yourself kind of slipping off of it. By having your feet a little bit higher, you kind of eliminate that and you kind of hit this sweet spot to where um, it's really comfortable for me and I can lay flat in it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to lay in this thing so you lay flat. That's what I found to be far more comfortable, right? So you swing around in your hammock, right? And most people, first off, they get like dead center of their hammock. You're laying like this, which isn't very comfortable, right? So the way you, you mitigate that and the way you make it better is you, you lay at an angle. So you want your head to either the left or right side, whichever you prefer. Some people like the different ways. If you lay to one side, you get your head to one side. I kind of get to where my shoulder is kind of tucked right here. And you lay at a diagonal. So you lay, you spread the hammock out and you put your feet on the other side at an angle. Now, I'm almost perfectly flat. And I feel like if I were to scoot up just a tick yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty much flat now I 100% sleep all night just like this no problem one thing you may notice is if I can reach it here coming up kind of from kind of the middle of my butt up my right leg there's a ridge, you just kind of see there's a ridge there. It's where the hammock bunches up. That can become uncomfortable to some people because there's kind of a, a, a tight spot right there and it's pressing against your leg. It's very simple, you just take your foot, and I wish I could get the angle better, but you, you take your foot and you push that ridge away from you with your foot and it's gone now. And you can sleep very comfortably like this. So freaking relaxing. Hammocks are so freaking relaxing, man. Like when I get my freaking shop and studio that you've seen some videos of me inside my shelter or whatever, that's supposed to be months ago, was supposed to be an enclosed building where I can shoot my videos and work out of. I'm still working on that. When that's done, I'm gonna permanently have me a hammock strung up in that rascal. I promise you, it's gonna be my, my chill out spot. So that's basically how you set up a hammock. You just gotta get out and kind of play with it and kind of figure out like what's the angle that you really like. So real quick, here's what I'm talking about when it comes to a 30 degree hang. So if I hold my fingers like this, and I put a little bit of tension on my, on my line here. My thumb is almost touching right there. So I'm a little bit more in the 30 degree angle, but that's kind of what I was talking about. So if it's like this, if it's like this, which I don't know how it'd be like this unless it was like perfectly straight, right? But th that's, that's the idea is to get that 30 degree hang gets you real close to in your ballpark. I don't like the hammock to be real tight. It's not comfortable. It's not a comfortable hang. It's harder to lay at a diagonal and get a nice flat lay. I've seen many comments on my videos in the past talking about hammocks and some people 
they're uncomfortable it just and i get it some people just aren't going to be comfortable in a hammock but i really think a lot of it has to do with the setup is not right and they're not laying in it in a way that can be comfortable the key is to lay at a diagonal and to get your hang to where it's comfortable and to me that 30 degrees is where it's at and then you can you can add ridge lines to these i can't remember if i did a video on that and I'm not talking about like a tarp ridge line. I'm talking about a ridge line for the hammock itself. It attaches to the gathered ends. No matter what your angle is, it will maintain the proper droop for your hammock. I'll do a video on that. I thought I already did, but maybe I didn't. So I'll, I'll do a follow-up video on how you can take this hammock and make a ridge line. So no matter what the angle of your suspension is, your hammock will always have the proper hang for you to be comfortable in it. But this is a great hammock. Uh, really good fabric. It's lightweight, easily packable. It's just so much fun, man. I absolutely love coming out here or anywhere and being able to string up a hammock and just relax, man. You get that diagonal lay and relax. You have your beverage right here in your pouch and you're, uh, you're good to go. So put you a tarp up above you off a tarp ridge line, keeps you out of the weather. It's freaking awesome, absolutely awesome. So let me show you real quick, a good practice of breaking this thing down. So as far as tear, tearing this thing down, taking it down, it's quite simple, right? Obviously take your carabiner loose from your daisy chain and everything's gonna go in this pouch right here. When I go out, I wanna put my straps up I want to hook one of my carabiner ends, my gathered end to a strap, still have my bag and then walk it out without the hammock laying on the ground and getting dirty. So the way I do that is I'll start right here at the pouch, my hand in the pouch, but put my thumb underneath to right here. And I start folding in this one side. I'm just stuffing it in there. It ain't, it's not rocket science, right? To where my carabiner is hanging out like that. So now obviously I've got this other side. All I'm gonna do is hold this strap so I don't accidentally start forcing that back into the pouch. So I hold this one with this hand and I'm just stuffing it just like this into the pouch until I get to the other carabiner and I take it loose and then both my carabiners are on top. So now when I come back out, I hook to my strap with one carabiner and I can just walk it out to here and then pull from here and walk it out and my, my hammock's never touching the ground. This is how I do it. You do you, man. Or what does people say? You do you, boo. <laughs> so now both my carabiners Are at the top. So I just put them in, push it all down, and then I roll up my straps and my straps go on top. So first thing out is the two straps. Hook one carabiner up, got the other. I can just pull it out and nothing touches the ground. Nothing's getting dirty. Nothing's being crazy, right? So there's one strap. Lay it on top. Just like that. Second strap. Lay it on top of the first one. Pull the drawstring. And there we go, everything back in the pouch, ready to go in your pack for your next adventure, Yeehaw. So that is the Climate Single Hammock that was in Mission 92, a battle box. Really cool hammock, I absolutely love it. Get outdoors, try this thing out. I mean, just keep it in your vehicle, man. If you, I mean, go to a park, you go somewhere where you got some trees close by where that you can hang, man. Throw it up and relax, there's nothing better than a good little 30, 40 minute nap 
in a hammock <laughs> for sure trust me i know equally as fun for camping stuff like that of course you can put your shelter over you by way of a tarp i got many videos showing you how to do that set you a tarp up over it get you a, a under quilt and an over quilt and sleep freaking awesome suspended off the ground instead of being in a tent i enjoy doing it and you might too get out there give it a shot and uh have fun with it so as always i appreciate you guys watching be sure to like comment down below share with your friends hit the bell icon hit the subscribe icon so you'll be notified when i post more videos and as always i'll see you next time on another video love you mean it y'all be good get outdoors